Now to start, so I don't sound like a complete lunatic to anyone who hasn't seen any of my other videos. Audrey was on my record label, Interval Kid Records. She gave me a license to use one of her songs, those contracts and everything. We talked on the phone a whole bunch, or a fair amount. Some, you know, we talked. And she'd asked me to marry her. And we agreed to get married, but she said she was 16 when she was actually 19, so I thought we had to wait. And then she came to visit me in Anchorage, and that she was, you know, on about homosexuality all the time, trying to convince me that... She said her church mission, it was her church mission to convince me to accept homos into the church. And, you know, so... And, and she was disguised. She looked completely different, and I can't... I mean, you'd have to see her. You, there's no way you would think it was the same person. Even, I mean, even her face was completely different. Her skin color, she was imitating the expressions of a friend that looked most differently to her. And it was just, you know, so I thought she was just someone, I didn't know who she was. And I thought she was an agent at the time, and she probably is. But anyway, let me continue here. She started putting up super beautiful pictures recently, and it seems like she's trying to set me up because she knows I have to reject her to start up you know, gay accusations or chauvinist accusations again. And I had my mind blocked by my ex-girlfriend, Christine, who I made love with 8-12 hours a day for a year and a half, and she's using it as sex magic, so I couldn't remember that Audrey may have teleported. And the way she's behaving towards me, I thought perhaps she was a vampire or witch. Of course, if she teleported, there's no way she's a vampire or witch she would then be, you know, of God. But why would she do this to me? I don't know. You know, maybe... And it seems it seems like she has... I mean, I've thought for a long time she was a FBI agent. And I've gotten proof that a lot of FBI agents are vampires or working for vampires. So maybe if she's an agent, she's working for vampires, and that's why... Her behavior seems vampiric towards me because she is obeying orders as an agent, thinking she's doing something else, something that's for good. You know, they've slandered me, and, you know, so she's inadvertently carrying out plans of cruelty, perhaps. And that could be it. Or something else. Maybe I don't know something. Maybe there's some reason that she's not supposed to talk to me or can't talk to me that I don't know about. That is completely, you know, innocent of her. I don't know. But regardless, I can't hope to marry her because it's suicide. It ends in suicide. That's the... You know, I, I just end in absolute despair to where you cannot live like that. You can't live with that feeling. It's too strong a despair. You know, I uh, wounded bison, scream, bald, and it backed off for about an hour, and I felt it coming back. And I knew that it would overwhelm me no matter how much I bawled or no matter what I did. So I had to change my hopes and you know, forget about hoping to marry Audrey. Though she is incredible, beautiful, and an incredible musician. And maybe, you know, if she would just talk to me, you know, I think we'd be perfect for one another, but she won't. And I don't know why. And it's just impossible for me to hope for her. Or I will end up, most likely, I'd end up, you know, killing myself. So I, I can't, I'm not going to do that. I have too much to do. And, you know, she she either doesn't care, she's working for someone who's under orders, who is evil, you know, maybe she is of God, and for some reason I don't know, she can't talk to me. You know, I don't know. And it just has its effect for some other reason. I don't know what. You know, I can't... I can only speculate. I just don't know what's going on with her, and... It's just too painful to worry about. So I, I've got to. There's, I just cannot. Uh, I, 
you know, and, and I mean, it seemed like in the video before, it seems like she's trying to set me up. She went and, you know, we agreed to get married and then she cut me off and went and worked for the FBI to employ the government against me for her battle of the sexes and ended up working for vampires against me. Possibly. I don't know. It could be something else. I hope it's something else, but I can't really, I can't, I mean, for her sake, but I mean, I can't care, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, I hope she's not this holy person who is employed by the government to do evil, you know, that would be really bad, <clears throat> but maybe it's, you know, something else to where she is, uh, she can't talk to me for some other reason. Maybe because it's so dangerous and she needs to keep safe, you know. But either way, I can't hope to marry her.